staff at the Kampala City Council Authority offices on City Hall turned up for work to rigorous check. Anti-riot police kept watch at City Hall just in case as the border border cyclists sought to meet Kampala Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago. Earlier, police had sought to block the meeting, saying the venue, City Hall, was not big enough. But even with the heavy police deployment, some cyclists managed to sneak into the City Hall. I want to ascertain how many border border men are here. Simple. So that's what I'm saying. Let's be done in a calm way, not on pressure. In a twist of events, the cyclist almost lynched a man passing himself off as the Boda Boda Association chairman. After an hour, Mayor Lukwago showed up but informed the cyclist that he had rescheduled the meeting aimed at reorganizing the Boda Bodas. We are going to sit down with other stakeholders, members of the authority and MPs, and organize another meeting since this one has almost aborted, we can't proceed in such a manner. There is no way you can reorganize the border, border industry unless you address the question of leadership. And these are, the, these, are, these are the issues. There are so many people having offices there. That means you're inviting people there, the rest of the people at the council, at the hall, they'll have to cross business and go home. The events at City Hall had another effect at Chiseka Market when police arrested a vendor only identified as Ndabakunda, saying he was one of the ringleaders in storming City Hall. Vendors protested and demanded the immediate release of their colleague. Ndabakunda was later released after police realized that it would lead to a destruction. More research all in TV tonight.